I've been thinking about how to tell this story properly. What you're seeing is my son and me hauling a trailer to pick up our new project. But this thing doesn't start here. It actually started a couple of months ago when a friend and I agreed that I would rent the spot in his garage. More space meant that I had the opportunity to start tidying up my home shop and move some stuff out to the new place. Instead, I found myself sitting in my living room scouring the internet for a suitable project. When I saw it, I thought, no way, I am not buying it and that's final. I already knew then that I was fighting a losing battle with myself. After seeing a couple of pictures, I paid a deposit on it and we were on our way to meet the seller of a piece of motoring history that is going to be my company in the shop for a long time to come. The bullet holes may be taped on, but I wouldn't be surprised if I found some real ones. It's got lightweight aluminum rims, but three of the tires are flat. It's got air intakes, but the motor doesn't go vroom vroom. It's got sleek Italian lines, but the body is full of holes. It's got a mid-mounted engine that hasn't been running for at least 10 years. It's sporty and has a Bertone badge but the paint has since long lost its shine. It's rusty, beaten, full of algae, and it's gonna take years to restore. It's my very own Fiat X19, and needless to say, I really dig it. So there you have it, the new project. And let me tell you, I am really excited about this. So this thing happened when my friend Magnus and I got to talking about, I mentioned to him actually that I was looking for some shop space and, and uh, kind of asked if he, if he knew if there were anything available at the place he rents, which is this place. And this is actually a uh, garage where when we first moved into this place, Magnus and I moved in here together. Uh, we shared this place and uh, then I built my home and my home workshop and I've been working from there ever since. So, and in the meantime, Magnus have been renting this place for himself. But he was really happy to uh, clear out some of this, uh, his stuff and uh, lend me a place here and I'm really, really happy. I guess that means I'm gonna have to start paying rent now because Magnus is in France and I moved in without him knowing it. And uh, he's gonna see this video and that means my freebie days are over. So the car is up on stands and I have started to take it apart. Uh, so you're gonna see that in the next episode. And uh, pretty much after that, we'll uh, get to the, the bodywork, fixing all the rust up. In this car right now is a 1500cc uh, engine, uh, carburetor engine. The car is from 1980, if I didn't, if I haven't mentioned it. Uh, a carbureted uh, 1500cc engine, four-cylinder, puts out about 
I don't know, 70 or 80 horsepower. If that engine goes back in the car, it's gonna be in a modified condition. I'm, I'm not building a monster here, but, uh, but I want more than 70 or 80 horsepower in it. Uh, the car weighs about a ton, 1000 kilograms, and uh, which is about 2000 pounds, 2100 pounds maybe. So I'm really looking forward to this and I hope you want to join me on this uh, little adventure. It may take 3 years, it may take 23 years, I don't know. It's probably not going to take less than 3 years. But um, I'm going to try and uh, chip away at this uh, a couple of, couple of hours a week. But we'll see what the future holds. Uh, but for now this is going to be my project and I am going to do everything I can to see this through. So uh, with that I want to leave you with some more shots of the car.